All right, so one of the, base, the most basic concepts of um, React and React and Native specifically is that we don't have divs anymore and we don't have um, HTML anymore. Now, what does that mean for us? That means that we have some components that we can return and they are the only components that we can return. These components, we find them if we go to the, Java, the React Native documentation. Now, as you can see here, before I open this, React Native. You can see here that I'm importing React, all right? But also, you also can see that I'm importing React Native and I'm importing certain um, components. As you can see in this line, I'm not uh, returning a div or a span or anything like that. I'm returning a view, a view component. Now React Native has some components that map to the native components and that's why we use them because when we use the view component, depending on which phone is executing React Native, view is gonna be turned into uh, objective C or is going to be turned into Java all right so that's why we use the components that react is giving to us react native is giving to us and this is the list of all the components we can get um, here we go as you can see here we can we, we can see that there are many of them all right all of them very useful to build applications for um, react native now if you look at this one for example is activity indicator so it displays a circular loading indicator let's import it let's see how it looks activity indicator and here we're just gonna i guess we're just gonna do this and i guess that's it we're gonna go to our simulator with expo and as you can see here is doing it now, if we were going to open this with an Android phone, it would show us a uh, activity indicator loading, but in the Android style. Now, you can feel free of testing this with Android. We're not gonna do it now because we don't have time to show everything, but that's basically what I wanna show you, that these components are the same on the code, but they will look different in our um, app. Now there is something super cool that is called Snack by Expo. And this lets us play with some code on the browser, all right? That we can preview without having a phone or without downloading anything. So we can do uh, React Native apps and we can look at them, as you can see here, without having to download anything in our browser. So here I'm gonna import again activity indicator and I am going to open up and close it. As you can see, this is basically again more React Native code, all right? And here we can see how it uh, is going to look. It says that uh, all right, loading. Now I just want to show you real quick what I mean by that the component goes in a different place if it uh, is Android or iOS. Now here is going to load. And as you can see, we also have the same things, style sheet. We also have the same things, components. We also import React. We also have a render. It's the same thing that we have here, the same thing. Now, in Snack, in Expo, it's just like, um, it's just like CodePen. In CodePen, you can write HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and you can share it with your friends so they can see your code and they can play with it. It's based, Snack is basically like, basically like that. Now this is how it was. It looks. It looks on uh, iOS. Of course, you already know that because you are looking at it here on my simulator, All right? This is my iPhone 6s simulator. But let me change it to Android. Let's play. And it's gonna look at how it looks now. As you can see, it's completely different. So this is what is um, the best feature that React Native has right now and is that these components you only write once and you can see them differently on both platforms 
because they both become native components on the platforms. So I think that that is the biggest um, the biggest um, concept that we that you have to know that uh, you cannot just return anything you want. You have to return some specific components. All right, like views, text, not like div and span and h1 and paragraph and stuff like that. No, different uh, components for native. It's completely different from web. Now, it's the same theory that is React theory, but it's completely different from the web. You, all you need to know is that. Now, if we go back to my code and my simulator, I want to, I want you to see what this is. This is here. What the guys at React Native did is that they are giving us a way of doing layouts and the design of React um, Native with Flexbox. And that is wonderful because we come, most of us come from a background of CSS and Flexbox. So if we can make apps and the layouts with Flexbox, it's just the best combination ever. If you want to do layouts with Swift, or with Objective-C is very complicated or you have to use a graphic interface. The same with uh, React, um, Android Studio and Java. Now, this is, from the ones I've tried, is the best way to build layouts because this part actually feels like web. So it's just amazing for me. And as you can see here, all, I'm, all we're doing is that we are creating an object called styles and then we're doing a style sheet create, which is something you will learn later. But basically what we're doing is that we're building just objects. And as you can see on the view, we're just attaching the style container, styles container to our view. Now, there is something really cool here and is that React Native will tell you when you are making a mistake uh, on your style sheets. So if you, for example, instead of typing background color like this, you type something like, oh shit, sorry. If you don't do this, but you do this. When you save and this refreshes, it should show you an error or Expo should show you an error. What is there? No, you just won't save. Uh, color, let's do color background color and here we refresh now this is just to show you how strict react native is now react is not so strict if you don't use good css and react nothing happens if you don't return a normal html component and you return whatever you want nothing happens here in react native it matters what you return matters here because it's very delicate the way they do it so it works both ios and android now, after this finishes, we should see an error here saying that the background color is not um, a valid prop for the view style. There it is. It says background color is not a valid style property. And here it gives you the valid style properties that you can use. So as you can see, it's very strict but it's also very comfortable because you can see all the things that you can put and cannot put. And as you can see, we have almost everything. We have aligned content, aligned items, aligned self, aspect radio, background colors, border radius, border style, elevation, flex, font family, height, weight, everything. All right, so let's just fix this background color. And now, as an example, if this was React, normal React, and I return this, it wouldn't be a problem because it's a div. I should return something like this, but React doesn't care. Now, what happens if I don't return this on React Native? If I just do this, what happens if I return text inside of a view? We will see. It says, row text, hello, I'm a native developer now and I love React, must be wrapped in an explicit text component. So you see, it's very strict, but it also, it makes sense, All right? So this is gonna give you very nice um, practices for your programming life. The fact that you sh should follow patterns and the fact that the text goes only inside of the text. The problem with HTML is that you can do whatever you want and it still will work. 
you can put a text inside of a div and it still will work. You can put a text, a long text inside of a span and it still it will work. In this case, you cannot. If you put the text outside of text, it's gonna show you an error. So that's the second biggest one, or the third one. The first one was that um, we have to import our components here. Second one is that we have styles just like, a little bit like CSS, but not so much. And they look very much like objects in JavaScript. And the other, other um, concept is that it's super strict in what we can return and what should be where. The text should be inside of this, the image should be inside of this, the button should be inside of this, blah, 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 blah. blah. So that's it for our introduction of React Native. Uh, let me see if I forget something. I don't think so. I think the rest is just practice. So see you on the next one where we are actually going to start talking about what Flexbox means for a layout on React Native.